What's going on YouTube and welcome back to our acting lessons let's play Let's get started. I have a feeling the party is about to begin If you haven't already hit that thumbs up hit that subscribe button link in the description below to my patreon if you want some exclusive content including unrated versions of the eternum all woman run we have the uh being a dick let's play there has been a bunch of other ones definitely give give that a look all right where we are in this story well let's just start with the three on the screen here we have reyna on the right who uh tried starting some stuff last video i believe it was she tried to kiss us despite us being now in a relationship with Megan or Melissa in the middle. Uh, made some bad choices, <laughs> and uh, yeah, she's basically like in love with us, and we're in a relationship with like her best friend, so that's not good. And she's mad at us. And then, of course, there's Megan on the left, who we uh, we're getting pretty close with. We've at one point professed we're falling for her, and uh, we have, like are basically officially a thing, I think. You know, we had our first date, a little makeout sesh. That was pretty cool. Let's see what happens next. Girls are all drinking. We should play some drinking games. Great suggestion. Who knows of a good game? Oh, I have a bunch of them. Have you ever heard of Never Have I Ever? That's the game you want to play? Seriously, Em? Aren't you close to 40 or something? <laughs> Ouch. That's one rude smurf. <laughs> It'll be fun though, Reyna. Yeah, because you won't be drinking shit. <laughs> Meanwhile, Angela and Hedwig will pass out early. You're going to talk, Reyna. <laughs> yeah. Never ever have ever had a threesome. Bitch. <laughs> Both drink. Fuck me. Aren't we just a bunch of... Uh-huh. Never have I ever done that. <laughs> They're just going to die. Oh, even Megan. Good. <laughs> uh huh. Stop it. Never, ever, never have I ever been in one of those. You're so stupid. You're not supposed to say shit you've done. <laughs> Seriously. Oh. Never have I ever. Uh. Ooh. Oh. <laughs> That's um some specific choices here. Now, if you're new to the channel, I do have to watch what I say because uh, the YouTube algorithm will kind of flag it. So if I'm seeing things a little weird, that's why. Um, never have I ever... Ooh, which one do we want to do? <laughs> Let's do the first one. On that. Of course they did. This game is unfair. Megan's barely drinking anything. Excuse me for never being in one, Reyna. Damn, what else you got? Well, Truth or Dare is near a classic. Holy shit, you really are a teenage boy trapped in an old man's body, Liam. <laughs> Seriously. <laughs> one more time, I'll go... Gargamel? I don't... Gargamel? I don't know what that is. <laughs> Truth or Dare, Megan. Truth, of course. How many guys have you slept with? Three. Like in one night? <laughs> of course they'll go there. No, in total. Well, it's a decent number of guys, no? It repeats my digit. Truth or dare, Angela? Truth. Would you rather be bald or have one of those? Okay, oh, easy question. One of those, hands down. I already have that like three oh, I've already had it like three times. Wow. <laughs> Oof. <laughs> the face. That is a face. It's like, ooh, dodge that bullet. Truth or dare, Melissa? Truth. Would you rather sleep with you know, Jonas or Liam? Oof. That's a bad question to ask her. I don't want to answer that one. Yeah, I picked Jonas on that one. Fine. Yeah, Jonas. Oof. Yeah, that's an easy choice. That one did it, Jonas. Hey, chill, bro. Nah, nah. Truth or dare, Liam? Dare! Take a picture of your junk and send it to the person you texted with most recently. 
<laughs> of course you'll do it. SMS signal. Dude, <laughs> check your phone. I'm never reading that text, Liam. <laughs> Rina, Ruth, or Dare? Dare. Gotcha. Lose the top and show them to us. Now it's a party, all right. <laughs> Back to do some editing. <laughs> you think I wouldn't dare to do that? Prove me wrong. <laughs> Obviously, I had to cut uh, those out. Jonas, truth or dare? No way I'm picking dare after what just happened. Truth. If Liam liked the girl you used to be interested in, would you let him have her? Ooh. Used to be interested in. Uh, yeah. Sure. Of course, why wouldn't I? Besides, that choice would, really wouldn't be up to me. Bro, you know I would never go behind your back. I know. Will you please put on some party music and turn it up a notch? Absolutely. Here we go. How about we make this party a little more exciting? Of course, there comes the drugs. Who wants some? Like you even have to ask? Give me. <laughs> Megan, you want to try it? No oh, thanks, I don't do drugs. Who else is shocked? Man, she's really like giving it to her. Even she, yeah, exactly, that face. What about you, Melissa? Sure. Yeah, she's just upset, so I'm not surprised there. <laughs> wow, easy, Melissa. Yeah, that's some strong stuff. Stop her or let her be. Okay, so stop her or let her be. Now, she is very upset. That's not, I'm not surprised she is. Um, I'm also trying to think of like what option would be to kind of distance myself from her a bit. Uh, I think she needs space. Let's just let her be. <clears throat> Shit, girl, you're gonna get floored. Oh, and she goes. Jonas, you want some? I I don't do that. <clears throat> no thanks, I'm good. Of course, she likes that. That's that fucking thing. I'm gonna check on Melissa. I'm going with. Probably better if she did it alone, but... Melissa? <laughs> Naturally. You can go, Jonas. I'll take care of her. Are you sure? Yep, I'll make sure she's okay tonight. Go have fun with the others. Hey, what are you guys up to? Jonas is back! Now, I'm a little confused about Raina because I haven't done really anything to provoke anything. Um, I've honestly tried to pick options that kind of kept her at bay and declined her. So, if she is trying things, it's purely out of jealousy for Megan's, my guess. Wow. She's either very high or very drunk. Probably both. Well, I'm wasting myself. Hey, <laughs> that's not English. Wow, she is hammered. <laughs> is Living dancing with a lamp? <laughs> yeah, let's dance. Come, Jonas. Liam, you coming? Liam? Reyna, where's Liam? I don't know, he just left somewhere. Come, Jonas, I want to dance with you. Reyna, I'm sorry, I must find Liam. Yeah, good. Leave her hanging. Bro? Liam, you out here. Feeling better. Oh, is she gonna tell her? Yeah. Shouldn't have smoked that pot. It's a party, Melissa. Stuff happens. Why don't you ever blame me for my stupid mistakes, Megan? I do so much shit. You never call me out on it. You could choose to do whatever you want, Melissa. I'll still be there to help you when you need it. I won't tell you what you can or can't do in life. I don't want to be that person. Like your parents, you mean? Yeah. Sometimes I feel like it's you and me against the world. I do too. You, me, and Jonas. Oh, of course, bring me into it. Yep. Ah, there he is. Is he? 
Singing? Meet me where the sun grazes the ocean, where both wind and water touches the ground. When all comes around beneath the willow on the mound, I will rest my weary head for a while. There you are. I wonder where you went. The sky is beautiful tonight, Jonas. Oh, is he finally going to tell us what's wrong? It's such a great place to just be... Yeah, I like it too. Isn't that right there, pal? You seem kind of distant. I don't like you to leave during the climax of a party. No, Jonas. I'm not alright. Yum? What's the matter? I'm so sorry, Jonas. Hey. I'm sick, Jonas. What? I have something called- Oh, shit! <laughs> oh! Oh! That's not what I was expecting him to say there. Oh, shit. What's that? It's cancer. I've been getting treatment for it treatment for it for about a month now. Shit. Why haven't you told me about this? You know how it is. I'm not good at talking about this stuff. They told me there was a 90% survival chance and that it was curable. So I thought, eh, no big deal. Until this morning. <clears throat> My body stopped responding to the treatment. You have no fucking clue why. This explains so much, Liam. Why oh, you been so tired and buying a sports car out of the blue? <laughs> what good is money you don't spend, right? I don't want to bum you out, but I'm so fucking glad you know it now. It's also the reason I lied to you about Hedwig, you know? I'm sorry, bro. You have nothing to apologize for, Liam. I can't imagine what you're going through. My fucking dick, Jonas. Why did it have to affect it? Your thing? All that fucking chemo. Lost the urge to bang, and believe me, I've tried. Like shooting pool with a rope. Fuck's sakes, Liam. Too much info. So, what's happening now? I'll continue with the chemo. My only hope. Meanwhile, I'm working on something I thought we could do together. Name anything, Liam. I've actually talked about it before. Kind of. Bucket list, you know? Well, at first, it was more like a fuck it list. But that ain't happening with this limb noodle. So you made a list of stuff you want to do before not dying from this? <laughs> Don't worry. Hope hasn't left me yet, Jonas. And yes, a list of stuff I always wished I did. That's awesome. <laughs> so, what's on your list? Oh, a lot of good stuff. Getting tattoo. But smart with uh, chemo? Doesn't that destroy your immune system? Easily get an infection from that. <clears throat> Crowd surf. Learn to paint. Force myself to try new things. Get revenge on Roy. <laughs> Fucking Roy. I like that one. Right? A bunch of stuff I figured we could do together. Started by myself, but that wasn't any fun. What have you done so far? Well, a sports car was one thing. Last week, fucking did it, bro. I passed the final exam. You graduated college? Yeah. That's huge. Congratulations, Liam. Thanks, bro. Never thought I'd see the day. I just say, this list is a bit sad. But I'll help you with it. I'm here for you. Couldn't be happier to hear that, bro. Just one thing I need you to promise me. What's the matter, Megan? I gotta say, before I get into this conversation, um, I love that they have this that they have this in here because, like, a lot of these visual novels, the bad stuff always happens to the main character, or it happens to like their love interest, or it happens to like the women generally. It doesn't happen to your best friend. I find in a lot of them, for the most part, right? And like, I don't know, it just it brings something different. And like now it's also setting up for the future. Okay, what's gonna happen to him? You have all these scenes you could put in now for all the adventures they're gonna do. Um, it's a good setup. I really like it. I like that extra 
bit of development they're doing there instead of just having him always be the party guy always so excited what's the matter megan i don't know melissa something happening with liam how do you know that something about their body language it's making me feel worried I need to talk to you about something uh oh now it's coming what's wrong Done something really stupid, and I'm afraid you'll hate me for it. You know I never hate you, Melissa. Come, let's go inside and talk. Now, tell me, what on earth would make you think I hate you? Before you and Jonas started dating, we had sex. You what? Yeah, that's gonna go bad. <laughs> so fucking sorry, Megan. And eating me up inside. I had no idea you were falling for him. Jonas never told me what he felt either. He defended me from Peter. He'd wine to drink. It just kind of happened. I didn't know about the two of you, Megan. You have to believe me. Please, don't hate me, Megan. I can't lose you. Melissa, I don't hate you. Jonas and I aren't a couple. We're just dating. I mean, I do have feelings for him. And this hurts to hear. But he didn't cheat. But, what about you, Melissa? Is it just for fun? Oof. Yes. I've known you for so long. Looking at you right now, I just don't believe you. You're feeling something. Please tell me. Oh boy. Apparently we're in the feels episode today. <laughs> oh man. I promise. Thank you, bro. You know, I'll be coming with you to your chemo treatment and everything, right? Of course. Man, it feels so fucking good to have told you this. Such a huge relief. Do you want to tell the girls too? I want them to know. Do you do it for me? It's hard enough telling you. And I don't want them to feel sorry and shit for me. Just want to be happy, you know? I'll talk to them. But, knowing Megan, you'll probably have to deal with some pity. Yeah. Getting kind of tired. Wanna go to bed? A joke or say yes? Uh, joke. <laughs> I thought you said it wasn't working and now you want to go to bed with me? <laughs> I'm not the one holding my arm around you, you fucking smart ass. <laughs> hey girls, are you two still up? Yeah, you stayed up talking. Don't ask. What's wrong with Liam? I don't know where to start. Yeah, yeah, he's gonna go to bed. <laughs> Poor Liam. Yeah. Liam asked me to tell you about it. He doesn't want to be surrounded by pity. I prefer if you could just act normal around him. You know, just have fun and don't think about it all the time. Would that be too much to ask you to? No, I can try to. For Liam, absolutely. Should we try and get some sleep? Getting pretty late. Or early, I should say. Ah, uh, just yet, Jonas. Oh, here it comes. Melissa and I talked. Oh? You told me about the two of you. Megan, I... Before you say anything, please let me finish. I've known Melissa for so long. She means the world to me. I can see in her eyes, Jonas. I just know that she's gotten feelings for you. Megan, fuck! <laughs> Throwing her under the bus. Don't know why she won't admit it. <laughs> but Melissa, having feelings for someone? I have not once seen it. I refuse to be the person telling her not to explore those feelings. Oh god, what's going on right now? With everything she's gone through, really deserves to be happy. That said, puts us all in a very weird spot. Because I know that I want to be with you, Jonas. But I can't believe Oh no! I can't believe I'm actually saying it. I'm willing to give that up. If you'd rather be with Melissa. No, Minkin! We'll let you do that. No other way, Melissa. There must be. I can never do that to you. I love you. I love you, Melissa. But the choice isn't really ours to make. It's Jonas's choice, of course it is. 
Melissa. So sorry for not seeing it sooner. I didn't realize that the thing be between you and I meant something more to you than just sex. It really hurts because I have feelings for you, Megan. On some level, I also have feelings for you, Melissa. And I know how wrong that sounds. It makes me feel like the biggest asshole ever. But I just can't help it. I'm so confused. I can't choose. Please, don't make me choose. It's so ironic. We all sit here, telling each other that we basically love each other. Yet it makes us feel so sad. Loving each other shouldn't be sad. Hearing that we all care about each other should make us all feel like we're the luckiest ones alive. I mean, unless it comes from a broken home, and I told you, Jonas, I don't have a loving relationship with my family either. What if we all just try to make it work while we figure out what we want? What do you mean? I mean that you and I, Jonas, will continue to date. And as for you and Melissa, you try dating too. And once we figure out how we really feel, we sit down and talk, and that will be that. What do you think? Would you really be okay with that, Megan? All I know is that I'm not losing my best friend over this. I feel the same. If you're really okay with this, you can try it. What about you, Jonas? Oh, I didn't even get an option. Okay. <laughs> I was honestly expecting an option there. That's what I was going to put uh, the cut in the episode. I'm in. Okay, now we're going to put the cut in. <laughs> I was honestly expecting a choice there, whether to pick one or the other or go through plan. Okay. Never mind. Wow. What a, what an episode. All the feelings in this one. Wow. Between the girls and with Liam and just... Woo. It's a... Uh, that was a heavy one, but we're going to give our best friend the best life he can have. Well, hopefully he has more of it, but if he doesn't, we're going to help him get to the best one he has and uh, eating two girls at once. It'd be interesting. I tried pushing her away and somehow I still managed to get her at the end. So I guess I waited too long. So in the next episode, we'll see what happens with the dual dating and with Liam. Apparently something with Reyna. Well, thank you so much for watching this entire thing. Appreciate every single one of you. Thank you to all my Patreon supporters. Really, really appreciate all your support and your feedback. Really hope you're enjoying all the content over there. Catch you all in the next one.